<laughs> hey kids, Joe Beaver back at you here, coming at you, all that fun stuff. Today, I thought I would try to show you around a little bit of a story that I read in Paul Stanley's autobiography, Paul Stanley of Kiss. And uh, he had a story here about uh, being on tour with Slade and coming through Chattanooga. And I'll read it here for you. We also got to take a few heroes of mine out on tour with us. The fall of 1975, we had both Slade and Wizard, the band fronted by Roy Wood of The Move, open shows for us. Roy Wood's band created an eccentric version of Phil Spector's Wall of Sound. His bass player wore roller skates. They were booed off stage. Afterwards, I told Roy what a huge influence he had been on me. He was still shell-shocked from getting booed, and I was disappointed not to get much of a reaction from him. After the first show we played with Slade, we all stayed in the Chattanooga Choo Choo Hilton, a hotel with vintage rail cars as rooms, all lined up on tracks behind the main building. I was a huge fan of Slade, and in fact, the mirrored top hat that I had seen guitar-playing frontman Naughty Holder wearing in concert years before was the inspiration for my cracked mirror guitar. I dropped in to say hello to Naughty in his train car. He was completely delirious, so intoxicated he was incoherent and unable to stand. Your heroes don't loom quite as large when they're horizontal. Interesting. But when I first read this book, I thought, wow, that's really interesting to see you know, a place here in Chattanooga mentioned in Paul Stanley's autobiography. So I thought, I will come down here and show you the hotel where this went down. I don't know which train car it was Naughty Holder was in that Paul Stanley found him in like that. But I'll try to show you where the rail cars are. Here we go. All right, here we are at the Chattanooga Choo Choo in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The scene where it all took place. Now the book doesn't really specify which room it was in, but I will try to at least show you around a little bit, give you a little idea of what it might have been like. All right, let's go in here. Oh, Christmas time. So here we are in the lobby. Side's new. Presumably, Kiss would have had to come in here. At least some point. Who knows, but it's the lobby. But back here takes us to the train cars where the rooms are. These are some of the train car rooms. I'm currently not checked in here right now, but I was here a couple years ago and filmed inside them while I was at Con Nuga. So I'll slip in a clip of that here showing around the room. Here we go. I'm staying in the Chattanooga Choo Choo here and I. I'm actually finally getting to stay in a train car. Awesome. Lap. Pretty awesome, huh? Anyway, this is the room. Awesome bed, which you've already ramshackled a little bit. But yes, that's an awesome train car with all my junk already strewn about the room. But, here we are. The bathroom. Through here. Look through the pothole. Outside there's all. Apparently, in the next room is where the press is staying. This is what they say. Press. I don't know. 
But anyway, here we are with the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Pretty awesome. All right, I hope you dug that. Uh, like I said, that was from a couple years ago when I stayed here for Connuga, back when Connuga was still at the Choo Choo here. But uh, I'm not really entirely sure which train car, Paul Stanley, members of KISS, or Naughty Holder, or the me other members of Slade were in. If they had their own different cars or exactly what went down. But either way, I thought you might enjoy a little bit of rock history right here in Chattanooga. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.